Hello friends! Today I will share my favorite VS Code extensions that will boost your productivity and make your coding experience more enjoyable. Here are the extensions and themes that I love using the most. And the first one is Console Ninja. It's a great extension that displays console log output and runtime errors directly in your editor. And when you build an application, it saves a lot of time because you can see your output line by line. We all use many console log blocks all over our apps, but using a browser console makes it really hard to keep track of our logs after a while. But Console Ninja speeds up this process and we don't even need to leave the code editor. It works seamlessly with all popular frameworks and libraries like React, Next.js, Vue, Angular, basically everywhere that you use JavaScript. Let's check this React example. I'm fetching data using React query and let's see what we have. I will console log is fetching and this data. I will save it. And as soon as I do that, it returns these results. When I hover over it, as you can see, at the beginning it's true, but after fetching data, it turns to false. And here, it was undefined, and right after that, it returns these posts. And each post has a title. Let's use them here. I will map through my array. And for each post, I will return an h1 tag. I will save, and it immediately shows this error that says I need to add a unique key. Let's add. And now I have another error. It can't access the map because in the beginning, remember, our data is undefined. I can fix it using a question mark here. And as you realize, I didn't even open my browser to check any data or errors. I can see everything on my VS Code and fix them quickly. It's an awesome extension and also it's free. And the publisher of this extension is Wallaby.js. If you watched my React testing video, you would remember their other extension. It's another productivity tool they created, but it has many premium features. If you want to learn more about Wallaby.js, you can check their extension page or watch my testing video. And the second extension is RainGlow. It's a team extension. It includes hundreds of different VS Code teams. And it's perfect for me because I really like changing teams and using different colors every day. As you can see, you have many options and most of them are really high quality teams. Let's choose one of them. For example, this one looks really nice. Let's use it. I think I just found my new team. <laughs> I really like it. Speaking of teams and VS Code appearance, let me introduce you one of the funniest VS Code extensions. VS Code Pets. It allows you to add these cute animals to your code editor. You can choose different pets and you can give them a name and also you can play with them. It's really funny, but of course you might find this distractive, but I mostly use my VS code with the sidebar closed. And when I open it and see my pets here, they just make me smile for a moment. But I know it's not for everyone. I just wanted to let you know this kind of things exist in VS Code. And the other extension is Random Everything. Sometimes we need to create dummy data to test our applications, but finding random names can be a little bit difficult. Personally, I don't know what else to write after using John and Jane Doe, so if you don't want to use any library to generate random data, you can use this extension. Just select your items, open up the command palette, write here random, and choose any item you want. 
random number, name, email, and country. And your data is ready. And the other extension I love to use is Indent Rainbow. It basically gives different colors for each indentation and makes your code more readable. By default, all these lines are the same color. And to find out where your code blocks ends, you have to click the first bracket and check the other one. But thanks to this extension, the only thing I should do is follow the color. And the next extension is Cineplit Creator. It allows you to create your own custom Cineplits easily. Of course, you can do it without using any extension, but Cineplit Creator makes everything much faster and easier. Just select your code, run the create Cineplit command, choose the language, enter the Cineplit name, prefix, and that's all. Right now, I can use it in my next projects. And the next one is Image Preview. As a web developer, dealing with images can be tough. Because we use tons of images on our websites like photos, logos and icons. And sometimes it's hard to remember which image you are working on especially when you are using long URLs or files with random names to see the image, you have to visit that image URL or the folder path. But when you install this extension, you can see your images on the left hand side of the editor. Or you can just hover over the image and see its image size, file size and the image itself. And the last one is Toggle Quotes. It's a small extension that allows you to toggle between string quotes quickly. For example here, I wanna take this username and age from different variables. And to use them here, I need to change this code to backtick. I will press on command and quote. And right now it's a single quote. Let's do this one more time. And right now it's a backtick. And here there is a conflict. I will just come here, command quote, and that's all. As written here, it's a great extension and it saves a lot of time. Okay guys, that's all for today. If you like my extensions, please like the video as well. And let me know in the comments which extensions and themes you are using. You can support Lamade by joining the channel or using the link in the description below. Don't forget to follow Lamade's social media accounts. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.